Hello, and thank you for joining me today for a recording of our live Slow Hatha Flow class from Inside Timer. If you would like to join us for one of our live sessions, you can find the links to our profiles on Inside Timer in the description below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications for this channel to stay informed about future events, offerings, and other live sessions. This class is available for all levels, and a reminder that this is your practice, so do what feels good in your body. Namaste. We're going to get started now. So beginning in a comfortable seat. So any comfortable seat for you. Be a cross-legged easy seat. You can have your legs out. If you need to, you can prop something up underneath your hips. Finding a space where your hips can start to relax. Your spine can begin to lift tall and your shoulders can release. Beginning to find a space where you can breathe. And as you breathe, beginning to notice where in your body your breath moves. Noticing any resistance or hesitation within your breath. And taking one deep clearing breath, a full deep breath in. And a big sigh out. Allowing a slow, steady breath to find you. Slow, deep breaths in. And slow, deep breaths out. Allowing your awareness to move to the ground beneath your hips. The air as it touches your skin. Allowing your awareness to move into your thoughts. Taking a moment to acknowledge that they are there allowing them to finish whatever they need to before moving off on their own. And taking one more full deep breath in. And out. Your next inhale, sweeping your arms overhead to reach tall. As you exhale, side bending towards the right, right hand coming down beside you, left arm reaching overhead. Chest rolling open towards the ceiling, outer left hip drawing down. Taking one more full breath here, deep breath in and out. As you inhale, coming back through center to reach tall. Exhale, finding your side bend over towards the other side. Left hand out beside your right arm, reaching overhead. Mm 
one more full breath here, deep breath in and out. As you inhale, coming back through center, reaching tall, gonna move into a seated twist from here. So twisting towards the right and letting your right hand come down behind you, left hand towards your right knee. Taking a deep breath into fine length. Exhale, finding a slight twist towards the right. One more full breath here, deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, coming back through center, reaching tall once more. Exhale, twisting towards the left, left hand behind you, right hand towards your left knee. Another deep breath in to lift tall. Exhale to find your twist. One more full breath in and out. As you inhale, coming back through center, reaching tall. And exhale, releasing your hands behind your lower back, about a foot or so. Your hands can be on to the ground, pointing towards the back of your mat, out to the sides or forward, any way that feels right. Taking a big shoulder roll, allowing your chest to begin to press up. Shoulder blades hugging towards each other and down your back. And take your head and neck wherever feels right for you. Taking one more full deep breath here, deep breath in and out. Soft bend to your elbows, release your shoulders, coming back up through a seat. We're gonna find a seated forward fold. So you can switch up the cross of your legs or shift your hips in any way that might feel right for you. Then beginning to let your arms walk out long in front of you. And wherever you end up, Wherever feels right, allowing yourself to relax and to release into that space. Taking one more full deep breath here, a deep breath in and out. As you inhale, rising back up, letting your hands walk back towards your shins. And we're gonna make your way into your tabletop, onto your hands and your knees. You can rock over your shins or swing your feet around to the side. Once you find yourself in your tabletop, and find a little hip sway or some hip circles. And then we're going to move into your cat cows. Letting your wrists come below your shoulders, your knees below your hips. With an inhale, allowing your belly to draw down, chest to open out towards the front of your space. And staying here for another breath or two. Allowing your neck
relax, exhale to round your spine, pressing into that space between your shoulder blades. We're gonna pause here for a few breaths. Full deep breaths in. And out. And then moving with your breath, allowing yourself to flow between the two. Deep breaths in to lower your belly. And deep breaths out to round through the spine. You're staying right here, finding your movement in your cat cow, or we're gonna find your downward facing dog. Curling your toes and pressing your hips up and back. Chest drawing towards your thighs. In your downward facing dog, you can find a pedal of your feet, bending one knee, then the other. Wherever you've ended up, Finding some stillness there. Stillness in your body. A slow, steady breath. Your next inhale, rising high into your toes and walking your feet towards your hands. Maybe your hands back towards your feet. Finding a gentle forward fold, soft bend to your knees, head and neck to release. You can shake your head yes and no. You can shake your head maybe. Then taking a slightly deeper bend into your knees and slowly rolling up to stand. A big shoulder roll at the top. And maybe a few more revolutions, a full range of motion in your shoulders. And finding your mountain pose, your Tadasana. Your feet can be together, hip width apart, standing as tall as you can, arms releasing by your side. And pausing here to breathe and to notice. Once more, noticing the ground beneath your feet. Noticing your weight as it shifts underneath your feet. Taking one more full breath here, deep breath in. And out. Your next inhale, sweeping your arms overhead to reach tall. As you exhale, forward fold, coming all the way down. Inhaling to your half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweeping your arms overhead to reach tall. Exhaling, hands to your heart center. Pausing here for a breath, a full deep breath in. And out. One more just like that. Inhale, sweeping your arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling to your half lift. Exhale to fold. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead, reaching tall. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Pausing here, full deep breath in. And out. Releasing your hands behind your lower back, interlacing your fingers. 
and taking a big shoulder roll. Staying right here, letting your hands hook to draw down towards the ground. Your navel, low ribs, hugging in, chest lifting up towards the ceiling. We're gonna move into a forward fold from here. So you're welcome to keep your hands interlaced behind your back, or you can release your hands towards your hips. Taking a deep breath in to find length, and a breath out to slowly fold. If your hands are on your hips, you can release them down towards the ground or any bind that might be in your practice. If your hands are interlaced behind your lower back, you can stay right here, maybe let them start to draw overhead. Your hands are still interlaced, gently releasing them back towards your hips, and releasing them down towards the ground. If you have any bind, just taking one more breath right there, a full deep breath in, and out. Releasing your binds, your next inhale coming to your half lift. And as you exhale, stepping back into your plank, the top of your push-up. Taking a full deep breath here, deep breath in. And out. And staying right here, we're going to move through a little flow. Taking a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga or your knees, chest, chin. Inhale, your upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale to your downward facing dog. And stepping your right foot forward into a low lunge. Right foot stepping by your right wrist. Left knee coming down onto your mat. Letting your hips begin to draw forward and down. And slowly allowing your chest to begin to lift. And stay your hands on the ground, maybe blocks, maybe to your right knee. But wherever you end up, allowing your hips to continue to move forward and down towards your mat. Saying right here, we're going to move into a side bend in this space. Taking your left arm, same side as your back leg. Taking that left arm, beginning to reach tall up towards the ceiling. If you're on blocks or your hands are on the ground, you can always have a block over on the right side for some good stability. Taking a deep breath in a fine length and a breath out to side bend towards the right. Chest still lifting up towards the ceiling. Your next inhale coming back through center, reaching tall. Exhale, letting both hands come down to frame your right foot. You're gonna find your half splits, hips shifting up and back. Maybe the right foot scoots a little bit more forward. Taking a deep breath in to find your length. Bent knee or a straight leg. Exhale, folding forward. And then finding your breath once more. Full deep breaths in. And out. One more breath here, a deep breath in 
and out. And bend back into your right knee just enough to release that right knee back to meet your left. Coming back into your table, find some big hip circles one way or the other. And eventually we're gonna find your downward facing dog once more, curling your toes and pressing your hips up and back. Taking a few breaths, staying here in your downward facing dog, or we're gonna go through that flow another time. As you inhale, waving forward into your plank, exhaling your chaturanga or your knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale into your downward facing dog. And stepping your left foot forward, into your low lunge, left foot by your left wrist, right knee down onto your mat. Hips drawing forward and down. And then finding that perfect spot for you. A space where your hips can settle, your chest can begin to lift. And moving into the side bend here. So if you want, you can place that block over on to your left side. Got my plank table here. Inhale, letting your right arm begin to lift. Exhale, side bending over towards the left. One more full deep breath here. Breath in and out. Inhaling, coming back through center. Exhaling, framing your left foot, finding your half splits on this side. Left leg beginning to straighten. Maybe that left foot creeps a little bit forward. Taking a deep breath in to find your length and a breath out to fold. and finding that perfect space for this side of your body. Taking one more full breath here, deep breath in and out. And slowly bending back into your left knee, enough to release that left knee back to meet your right. Find your tabletop and taking any movement or motion in your hips. Maybe even a child's pose, hips towards your heels, chest releasing down towards your mat. Taking one more full breath wherever you've ended up, a full deep breath in and out. And when you're ready, slowly coming up to stand on your knees. We're gonna come into a gentle camel here. We're gonna do two rounds. So you can bring your hands towards your lower back. They can be any direction. You can have little fists pointing up wherever you end up finding that posterior tilt thinking of the tailbone drawing down finding that tilt of your hips shoulder blades hugging towards each other chest to lift up as you inhale allowing your hips to begin to lean forward and 
I'm moving into wherever is right for you. Your next inhale, slowly coming back through center then finding a neutral space for your hips. You can either be sitting onto your heels, a block, maybe coming back into your tabletop. Any way to release your hips, your spine, find a little bit of movement and release. When you're ready, coming back up onto your knees, you're gonna do one more, one more round of this space. I'm trying to think of a different word than round. So when you're ready, finding that tilt of your hips, chest beginning to lift, and letting your hips begin to draw forward. Hands can stay on your hips or move anywhere else that is within your practice. Taking one more breath there. Full deep breath in. And out. Slowly coming back up through center. Then gently releasing into your tabletop or sitting onto your heels, maybe even a child's pose. But wherever you end up, Finding a few deep breaths, full deep breaths in and out. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like and eventually you're going to make your way into a comfortable seat. You can rise back up into your tabletop and swing your feet around or any other way that feels right for you. And once you wake your way into your seat, let your feet come about mat width. Knees bend and find a little windshield wiper side to side of your knees. Moving into our bound angle, Baddha Konasana, allowing the soles of your feet to come together, heels coming close towards your hips. Finding a space where you can lift tall and beginning to press your knees out and down. Staying right here, maybe finding your lean forward, maybe a fold. One more full breath here, a full deep breath in and out, slowly rising back up and letting your feet scoot a little bit further out in front of you, about the same distance from heels to groin as from knee to knee. Taking another breath in to find your length and a breath out. Find your fold.
Taking one more full deep breath here, deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, slowly rising back up. Letting both legs begin to extend out long in front of you. Finding our seated forward fold. You can shake your legs out. Straight leg or a bent knee. Taking a deep breath in to find your length. And a breath out to find your fold. Your feet can be together, hip width. Maybe a little bit wider if you need it. Finding that space to settle into. One more breath, deep breath in and out. As you inhale, slowly rising up. We're gonna move into your Janusharsasana. Keeping your left leg extended out long in front of you, sole of your right foot into your left inner thigh, or head to knee pose. Taking a deep breath in to lift, squaring over your left leg. As you exhale, slowly folding in. Thinking about drawing your right rib cage over towards your left thigh. Taking one more full breath here, deep breath in and out. As you inhale, slowly rising up. We're gonna switch over towards the other side, letting your right leg extend out, sole of your left foot to your right inner thigh. Taking a breath in to find your length, the rotation over towards your right leg. As you exhale to slowly fold. Taking one more full breath here, a deep breath in and out. As you inhale, slowly rising back up, and releasing both legs back out. We're gonna slowly come all the way onto your back. Roll all the way down, initially letting your knees hug into your chest. You can find some circles one way or the other. Staying right here, finding your happy baby. Letting your knees start to draw toward your armpits. Maybe taking a hold of behind your thighs, ankles, maybe your feet. Wherever you end up allowing your chest, shoulders to relax and open down towards the ground.
and taking one more breath, a deep breath in and out. Letting your knees release back to your chest. And we're gonna find your reclined pigeon. Letting your left foot come down onto your mat, your right ankle on top of your left knee. If any other version, version of a pigeon would feel good for you here, please take this here. We're gonna do right and left side. So when you're ready, letting that right knee begin to press away. Staying here, maybe the left knee begins to hug into your chest. you end up allowing your breath to slow and settle. Slow deep breaths in and slow deep breaths out. here. After your exhale, gently releasing that left foot down, then the right. Finding any counter movement or space that you need to be in. Then we're going to move over onto the other side. Letting that left ankle come on top of the right knee. Maybe that left knee begins to press away. Drawing the right knee in towards your chest. Finding that perfect spot for this side of your body. Taking one more full breath here, a deep breath in and out. Gently releasing your right foot down, then your left, and finding any counter movement or space to be in. We're gonna move into your reclined twist from here. So letting your knees come back into your chest. We're gonna initially find that twist over towards the left side of your body. You can keep both knees hugged in. If you wanna have one leg extended out, you can extend that left leg out. Finding a twist over towards that left side of your body. And wherever you end up here, Taking a deep releasing breath, full deep breath in and a big sigh out. Beginning to release everything out. Releasing anything from your body. Anything from your breath that still needs to go.
One more full breath here, deep breath in. And out. Slowly coming back through center. And then pausing here in the middle to realign your spine, your hips, take any counter movement you might need. Then we're gonna move over onto the other side. I encourage you to take whatever version of the twist you took on the other side. So if you had one leg extended out, I encourage you to do that over on this side. And slowly drawing the knees across. Beginning to release down onto your mat. And taking your releasing breath, a full deep breath in, and a big sigh out. Taking one more full breath here, full deep breath in, and a big sigh out. Slowly beginning to come back through center, realigning your hips, your spine, once more, finding any movement or stillness you need here. And moving into one final pose before our final shavasana, our final relaxation. Finding your reclined bound angle. Letting the soles of your feet come together, knees beginning to open out towards the sides. You can let them release down towards the ground something doesn't feel quite right in your knee, your hip, your ankle, you can bring some support underneath the legs, or if it would feel best, just letting your legs extend out into your Shavasana. Wherever you end up, if it feels okay, let one hand come over your belly and one hand over your heart space. Once more, beginning to notice your breath. Noticing where in your body your breath is moving. Noticing any resistance or hesitation. Noticing any ease, release of your breath. Neither staying right here or allowing your body to shift into your Shavasana, your final relaxation. Your arms can come out beside you or anywhere else that feels right.
noticing your breath flowing in and out. And as you breathe, allowing your body to completely let go. Allowing control of your breath to go. Allowing control of your thoughts to go.
slowly coming back into your breath. into your body, into this time and space. Allowing with each breath, life, energy, and movement to make its way into your fingers and toes. your arms and legs, back and through your head and neck. And slowly rolling over onto your side. And pausing there for one deep clearing breath. A full deep breath in. And out. And slowly making your way into a comfortable seat. Thank you all so much for sharing your time, space, and energy with me and with each other. The Light in Me season honors the light in each of you. Namaste.